Have you ever wondered about the history of the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza? Picture this, an Italian state nestled in the northern regions of the country, born in the year 1545. This is the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza, a land of rich history and fascinating heritage. The reigns of this duchy were initially held by the Farnese family, a powerful and influential dynasty known for their tireless efforts to elevate the economy and cultural standing of their realm. The duchy was a bustling hub of legislation development, not to mention the construction of significant monuments that still stand today as a testament to its storied past. Join us as we delve into an engaging journey through the history of this fascinating duchy. The Farnese era was a significant period in the duchy's history. With the creation of the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza in 1545, the Farnese family ascended to power, marking the beginning of an era that would leave a lasting impact on this northern Italian state. The Farnese, a noble family of considerable influence, ruled the duchy until 1731. Their reign was marked by a deep commitment to enhancing the duchy's economic and cultural standing. The Farnese rulers, ambitious and forward-thinking, initiated various measures that significantly improved the duchy's economy. They undertook the construction of important monuments, a testament to their dedication to the development of the arts and culture. These architectural marvels not only enhanced the aesthetic appeal of the duchy, but also served as symbols of power and prestige. However, the Farnese era was not all smooth sailing. The duchy faced formidable challenges, including the plague, a deadly disease that swept across Europe, causing widespread devastation and loss. Financial difficulties were another hurdle that the Farnese rulers had to overcome. Despite these challenges, the Farnese family's rule is remembered for its efforts to elevate the duchy's status, both economically and culturally. Yet the sands of time wait for no one. The last duke of the Farnese lineage died without an heir in 1731, bringing an end to the Farnese era. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza was then passed to the House of Habsburg, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the duchy's history. The Farnese era significantly shaped the duchy, but it was not to last. Even though the Farnese era came to an end, its influence was indelible, leaving a lasting imprint on the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza. The Farnese family's rule, marked by both triumphs and tribulations, played a crucial role in shaping the duchy's destiny. The last Farnese duke died without heirs, leading to a shift in power. With the end of the Farnese era, the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza entered a period of Habsburg rule. This was a time of transition, a brief interlude that would ultimately lead to the duchy passing to the House of Bourbon Parma. The Habsburgs, a powerful European dynasty with roots in Austria, found themselves at the helm of this Italian state. However, their rule was not to last. The duchy's journey through history was as winding as the River Po that flows through its lands, and soon a new chapter was on the horizon. In the grand tapestry of European politics, alliances were often sealed with marriage. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza was no exception. Through the bonds of matrimony, the duchy found itself connected to the Spanish House of Bourbon. This marriage not only brought a new ruling family to the duchy, but it also brought changes in administration and a renewed support for the arts. Yet, the duchy's connection with the Habsburgs wasn't completely severed. In a twist of fate, the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza once again fell under Habsburg rule, before being eventually returned to the House of Bourbon Parma through a peace treaty. The Habsburg interlude was brief but pivotal, paving the way for the Bourbon Parma rule. The Habsburgs' time in power was a stepping stone, a bridge that connected the Duchy's past with its future. Their rule, though brief, set the stage for the next era of the Duchy of Parma and Piacenza's history. The duchy passed to the House of Bourbon Parma, marking a new era. As the duchy transitioned from the Habsburg rule, the Bourbon Parma family brought a fresh breath of air. Their reign was characterized by a series of reforms aimed at improving the duchy's socio-economic standing. The Bourbon Parma family had a keen eye for the arts and culture. They understood the power of art as a unifying force and a tool for socio-political expression. This led to an increased support for the arts, marking a period of cultural resurgence in the duchy. They nurtured local talents and commissioned works of art, contributing to the rich cultural tapestry that the duchy is known for today. But the Bourbon Parma rule was not just about cultural renaissance. They also implemented a series of reforms aimed at improving the economy and the general living conditions of the people. These reforms ranged from administrative to financial, 
and they were instrumental in shaping the duchy into a prosperous state. In an interesting twist of fate, the duchy passed to the Spanish House of Bourbon through marriage. This transfer of power brought a new dynamic to the duchy, with influences from the Spanish culture seeping into the duchy's way of life. The Spanish Bourbons continued the tradition of supporting the arts and implementing reforms, contributing to the duchy's growth and development. The Bourbon-Parma rule was indeed a period of change, a time when the duchy underwent significant transformations. It was a time of cultural resurgence, economic growth and administrative reforms that left an indelible mark on the duchy's history. The Bourbon-Parma rule was a period of change and cultural resurgence. The duchy's history took a dramatic turn with the French invasion. Let's journey back to the turn of the 19th century, a tumultuous time in Europe. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza, nestled in the heart of northern Italy, was not spared the wave of upheaval. Napoleon Bonaparte, the charismatic French military leader, set his sights on the duchy, leading to its invasion. The duchy, despite its best efforts, could not withstand the might of the French army. Napoleon's forces annexed the duchy, marking a significant shift in its political landscape. The once sovereign state was now under the direct control of the French Empire, a development that dramatically changed the duchy's trajectory. But as the saying goes, no night lasts forever. The French control over the duchy was not to last. The year 1814 marked the end of the Napoleonic era, and with it, the end of French rule over the duchy. The Congress of Vienna, a conference of ambassadors from major powers in Europe, convened to redraw the continent's political map in the wake of Napoleon's downfall. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza regained its sovereignty, a significant victory for the proud state. Yet the duchy was not to return to the Bourbon-Parma rule. Instead, it was granted to Marie-Louise, the Duchess of Parma, and Napoleon's wife, marking the start of the Habsburg-Lorraine rule. Though shaken by the French invasion, the duchy's sovereignty was restored, but more changes were on the horizon. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza faced its final chapter in 1859, the duchy, which had seen rule by multiple families and faced numerous challenges, was on the brink of a monumental change. The winds of unification were blowing across Italy, and the duchy was not immune. In the year of 1859, the duchy of Parma and Piacenza was abolished. It was a significant step, marking the end of an era. But it wasn't just about the end, it was also about a new beginning. This abolition was part of a larger process, a process that was reshaping the map of Italy. The duchy, once a distinct entity with its own rulers and laws, was integrated into the newly formed Kingdom of Italy. It was a move that marked a shift in the political landscape of the region. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza, with its rich history and cultural heritage, became a part of a unified Italy. The duchy's history ended, but its legacy lives on in the region's rich culture and history. The Duchy of Parma and Piacenza's history is a fascinating tale of power shifts, cultural renaissance and resilience. From the influential rule of the Farnese family, the Habsburg interlude, to the Bourbon-Parma reign and the French invasion, this duchy has seen it all. The duchy's resilience led to its sovereignty restoration, only to be abolished and integrated into the Kingdom of Italy. This tale of transformation and endurance holds a significant place in history, shedding light on the power dynamics and cultural shifts of the time. If you found this journey through history intriguing, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video. Stay tuned for more captivating historical tales like this.